Hello, I'm Brendan from Arctic Online, um, and today I'd like to share a little bit of my experience of the last 20 years of managing and building websites with you. Um, today specifically on backups and why they're important and uh, how to go about it. I've spent 20 years in the web development business and the last 10 years of that doing WordPress websites. Um, so hopefully I can share a bit of information today with you to um, help you do backups on your website easily and um, save yourself from some of the nasties that I've seen um, other folks experience over the years. So assuming that we're on a WordPress based website, you'd obviously need to log into your WordPress administrative area. And today I'm gonna to talk you through um, one of the tools I use, um, how to activate that and obviously how to back up that website. So the method of backing up your website is fairly straightforward. What we're trying to do is take a snapshot of your files for the website and obviously the database for the website. These two things go hand in hand. Uh, the database is essentially where all the data is kept. Um, um, you know, everything that's related to the the day-to-day -day, um, information that is on your website and the files are the are essentially the code that makes your, your website work. So both of those go hand in hand and for an effective back, backup strategy you need to have copies of both of those. So really why? Why is backup so important? And I always say you only need a backup when you need it and really that may sound a bit cliche but it's it's the absolute truth. So you're never going to worry about your backups until the very day and moment that you need them. So it's absolutely critical to have a working snapshot slash backup of your website that you can roll back to at any stage should the worst happen. And some examples of that, you know, and these things happen to everybody, including myself. Um, you know, there could be a situation where your hosting company has a has a technical failure and they lose data. They may only have, uh, you know, a snapshot of your website from 20 days ago, for instance, um, and you may have done a series of updates or loaded new products or have new sales if you run a, run a store, um, and all that data would be lost unless you had a more recent backup of your own. So first of all, don't rely on your hosting company to in, for your backups. A good hosting company should always have backups, but to rely solely on that is a dangerous precedent. So take control of your own destiny in, with regards to your backups and make sure you have a copy for yourself that you can use. And generally speaking, doing backups through the WordPress administrative interface is generally easier to maintain and manage. Um, we could also use backups to restore from a bad upgrade should you uh, run your updates to your WordPress website and something fails and your website is no longer working, you can roll back to your last working backup very easily using the correct um, tools um, and allow you to, within a few minutes to be back up and running and to problem solve that issue with the update at a, at a later stage. Of course, there's always the possibility of a, a website like WordPress uh, or any other website that uses a, uh, that is online uh, for that website to be compromised in terms of a security issue and um, the website gets defaced or worse is used for um, you know spam or, 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 or spam content is posted to your website or, or whatever basically your website being compromised and um, um, being used for nefarious purposes again having a clean backup to roll back to is critical in that regard um, and it would have help avoid um, significant costs in having somebody have to pick through all the files in the database to try and restore um, your website should you not have a backup. So how do we do it then? Well super simple and I'm going to talk you through sort of two main ways to do it. So I mentioned your hosting company and many hosting companies would use something like cPanel or have something like that that would allow you to take backups of your of your website. So this is an example of a cPanel based hosting account. And yeah, we can see that you can do full account backups 
um, database backups, file backups, and so on and so forth. So you can do this manually and then download it onto your computer and save those backups for, for a later date should you need them. Um, so that is one option. However, like I said earlier, the easiest way really is to have something automated in place that runs on the WordPress website itself. And my recommendation for that, um, having tried many other solutions, is Updraft Plus. Um, Updraft is available in the WordPress repository, so if it isn't installed on your website already, you can go to Plugins, Add New, and search for Updraft and of course, uh, it should come up. Um, yeah, we see it on the left. I already have it installed and activated, uh, but of course you would have an install button available to you if you have not. They have a freed and a paid version. The free version, which would come up in this uh, search that we see uh, is more than suitable for most people's needs uh, in terms of being able to take a snap automated snapshot of your website and being able to download that to your computer or perhaps something like Dropbox or Google Drive or something like that. So once you have Updraft installed, um, super simple from there onwards. So let's, uh, let's jump into that. We'll close these tabs quickly. So we can see we've got our link Updraft there and I'm gonna go straight to Backup and Restore. So here we see the uh, settings page for the um, updraft backup and restore plugin and you'll see we'll have several tabs um, that we have here and a big backup button so you could immediately without doing anything further just hit the backup button and you'd be able to back up your files in your database um, straight away and that would just save it locally on on the server um, an important note about backups at this point is that your backups are truly only secure if they are in two separate physical locations at any one time so if you have um, for instance, your hosting backups, which are happening automatically in the background, that's great, that's on the server. But I would recommend um, with something like Updraft um, that you then select your backups to be transferred somewhere else, be it on your local computer or in the office or at home, or transferred to a cloud storage service like Dropbox or Google Drive or something similar. And I'll just talk through some of those basics now. So like I said, if you just wanted a backup, um, your, your website and uh, download a copy of those files, super simple. So we would hit the backup button um, and I'm just going to ensure that we've ticked plugins, themes and uploads here and we see that it's ticked the database option and I'm going to hit backup so that it does a backup for us and we'll just wait while that completes quickly. Depending on the size of your website, how many images there are and so on and so forth, um, this may take longer than what we see um, um, this process going through. So it may take a few minutes to complete or, or longer. So, um, you know, depending on the size of your website, how complex it is, how many images, how many plugins, how many themes, etc., will determine how long this, this process um, actually takes. Okay, so we've, our backup is now completed. As we can see by the status message over here, and now when we see under existing backups, we can see that we have a copy of our database, a copy of our plugins, a copy of our themes, uploads, and anything else that's in the, the WordPress directory. So this is great. So now we have a snapshot of our website and um, you know, should we need to, we can easily roll back to that should something happen um, in the future. Um, what's great now is that you can also manually uh, download these should you want to. So for instance, if I wanted to download a copy of the database um, and the various other options, I would click on that and I would then be able to download to my computer. So this is a very manual process, but certainly possible to do should you want to um, do it manually in this way. So you could take a backup and download each of these files to your computer. Um, remembering that what we want to do is have a separate copy of uh, your website in a separate physical location rather than only on your website hosting uh, company server. So although this is great, and we now have a backup of our website, um, this is really probably only recommended should you want to perhaps do a backup before making a significant change like upgrades to your website or something that you can then easily roll back to. What I would recommend as a long-term solution is under settings, setting a automated backup schedule 
So I would always try to keep at least two months worth of data. So you should have at least a month's worth of backups on your hosting company's side, but I would keep longer than that should there be something that you need to roll back really far to. So I've had instances like this, and trust me, they are super handy to have should you need them. So your files are something that don't update very often. So these are only files, what I'm talking about here are your images, are your um, plugins, are your themes, etc. So unless you're doing updates very regularly, then you shouldn't have to back up your files very regularly. So normally what I recommend is something like a fortnightly backup for your files and obviously thinking about trying to keep it for sort of 60 days. So that's kind of, uh, uh, you know, if we do 10 weeks, so fortnightly, let's say five fortnightly backups would cover us nicely for two months. Um, and then the database is, is your content um, and all your settings for your website. So we want to be able to be a bit more flexible with that. So again, depending on how often you're doing updates, if you're not doing very many updates, then a sort of a weekly backup um, would, would be fine. And let's say one of those for that. If you're doing regular updates or you have an e-commerce store or something like that, then you're gonna to want to make this more frequent. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for instance, I would, um, on your files backup, I would take that to a weekly and your database backup, I would go daily or depending how busy you are, even go to several um, hourly options. Remembering backups take space. So you're always gonna to have to have the space for these backups um, should, wherever you're going to put them. So once we have the setting schedule going, this means that we can save this and forget about it and it will automatically um, update. So in terms of um, these other options, yeah, very safe just to um, have a quick read through. There's nothing really else that you need to change. We can now save. And if we go back to our um, introduction page, we can see that now the next <clears throat> scheduled backup is set for Thursday um, at, at uh, 10 to nine. So that would be later today. So now I can not worry about that. It's gonna run in the background and um, I will have copies of my website at whatever interval I have set over here. But again, remembering that we want to have a copy in a separate physical location for it to be 100% uh, secure. And to do that, I'd recommend using one of these remote storage options. We have lots of options here. And most people have access to either Dropbox or Google Drive. Um, if you don't have either, opening just a basic um, Gmail account will give you access to Google Drive and you can uh, take things from there. <clears throat> Excuse me. In this case, I'm gonna connect uh, to my Dropbox account. I'm going to click it. And whichever one you use, just follow the instructions that happen on screen. It's all pretty straightforward, uh, but just be careful um, to read the instructions clearly and follow the instructions clearly. So here we see uh, I've now uh, got Dropbox selected. And if I save that now, it's gonna take me through the steps to link to my Dropbox account. And here we see I'm going to need to authenticate um, and I need to click this link to be able to do it. So let's do that. Okay, so again, just follow the instructions and I need to now click this button to complete the setup. And as easy as that. So we can see at the top here, I have successfully authenticated with my Dropbox account. I have more than enough space for my backups. And just gonna clear some of those messages, there we go. And now if I go back to my settings, we can see that Dropbox is selected. <clears throat> so what's going to happen here now is on a weekly basis, the plugin will automatically take a copy of my database and upload it to Dropbox for me. And every two weeks, it'll take a copy of all my files and again, upload it to Dropbox and it will keep five copies of the files and 10 copies of the database and just wrote, keep rotating them. So if you wanted more, you would just increase the, the number here if you wanted longer backups. And there you have it. At that point, once that backup is completed, um, so uh, your 
data is essentially secured in that it is saved in two places um, on your hosting account and in a, a service that you control. Um, and then should you need it at a later stage, you are again using the, the updraft um, backup plugin. There's the restore button here and I won't go through the process, but just to show you how easy it is, click the button and you would literally just tick the boxes, click next, <coughs> excuse me, and your website would be restored to the date of when you took that snapshot. And there you have it, I hope that's useful. Um, and if you need any additional information, uh, please let me know. Thank you.